Hey there! Today we'll be talking about how place value works. Let's say we're shopping for apples and we need 43 of them to make some apple pies. Picking 43 apples one by one would be a bit tiring. But then we notice that the grocery store also sells apples in bundles of 10. This will make our shopping so much easier because if we get four bundles of 10, we already have 40 apples. Then we just need to get three separate apples to have a total of 43. These bundles of 10 help us to understand place value. The position that a digit has in the number determines its place value. In our previous example, 43 has four tens, which is 40, and three ones, which is three. The four in the tens place and the three is in the ones place. In the number 63, six is in the tens place, which means it's equal to 60, and three is in the ones place which means it's equal to three. Let's try another example by counting the blocks below. These first three stacks have 10 blocks each. Well, there are four blocks that are not stacked into blocks of 10. We can say that the stacks are three tens and the separate blocks are four ones which means we have 34 blocks in total. Next, let's count the number of tens and ones from the dots below. Can you guess how many tens we have here? That's right, we have six tens because there are six boxes that have 10 dots each. Notice that there are eight dots that are not boxed into groups of 10. So we have eight ones. In total, we have 68 dots. Now let's try converting between tens and ones. Match the tens to the ones or the ones to the tens. Five tens is equal to ones. Three tens is equal to 30 ones. 70 ones is equal to seven tens. 10 ones is equal to one ten. Nine tens is equal to ninety ones. Great job working with place value. See you again soon. Are you looking for more fun ways to learn math? Check out Bottle Learning and access thousands of math skills all through a fun 3D game. Just visit BottleLearning.com and sign up today.